<laughs> the very tippy tops of this uh, section will probably be visible. Um, will probably be visible uh, over this section, and it's not gonna like they're gonna be roughly the same height because they're both occupying. Like they both have to stay within these like these constraints. So maybe I'll try and like I'll try and vary the height more here. Because, like, we varied the height a little bit here. Like, it gets really low down on this region. And it gets, like, a lot... It gets a lot higher up uh, with this region. And then there's, like, some dips and stuff. And I think if I vary up the height here, then it won't look quite as, like... <laughs> I think is the uh, the technical term to describe art that's unimpressive. Um... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that, so I'm I'm not. There's still some hope for me. <laughs> oh yeah, so with this green thing, one thing that occurred to me for the other thing is that I actually want to I want to change how this is defined. Instead of having the green as the uh, as the inner area, I want the green to be the outer area. So. Oh, it goes all the way to the edge of the screen, right? Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, edit... Edit... Uh, invert selection. Let's color pick this color. Let's spill this color. Let's edit invert selection one last time, and then backspace. Or no, back, not backspace, delete. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then uh, we'll move this to the top, and we'll make it much more transparent. So now I need to make sure that I'm doing, like the so, so now this part no, so now this uh, this part here that does that does not have the green film like shading over it. This is the most important part because this is the part that we have to have to have to cover up. Uh, uh huh. We could actually introduce the cave like at any point we want we don't have to wait until the very end to introduce the cave but i don't know so maybe it'd make more sense to introduce the cave earlier mm. and just do like more cave wall type interior stuff maybe because once we as soon as we introduce that it'll make the uh the mid layer um less weird and juxtaposed it'll it'll look a little more natural because the other thing is i haven't watched the uh i haven't watched uh the actual speed version of these transitions like it might it might be that at actual speed these shapes look so weird against each other uh redonkules hey welcome uh <laughs> hi <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's what that emoticon makes me want to say. Um, <laughs> uh, I, oh, so I mispronounced a lot of names. Uh, Redonkules is, is uh, never mind. If, if you don't like how I'm pronouncing your name, feel free to instruct me to pronounce it differently. I, I think sometimes I, 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 I really do mispronounce your name. I try, I don't know. If they get, if they get on your nerves, please let me know. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, so this, sh so the first thing, the first, uh, well, if I'm gonna do this, if I, if I were to take the same approach I did last time, I would like kind of just like block or just like slam this whole thing with uh, shape, with like uh, with like the the lighter tone, and then um, and then go over it with uh, with like the detailing work like the the darker shading detail work which i guess could could work it worked last time so why not uh oh yeah so so in a slight difference this time the path is now the uh the thing that we want to go up against and uh oh we can have fun here we can have a little more fun here because we actually have like a ground now so we can actually like put things on the ground um, instead of just, like, an arbitrary, like, stopping point where we no longer have to justify our shapes. 
Um, because like if you're just uh, I don't know, having a ground plane. Like I was I was making up. I was like inventing my own little ground planes, like my own miniature ground planes, and like putting rocks on top of them just so that <laughs> I'd have a sense of that. But yeah, now we have the real deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, <laughs> Captain Awesome. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I can do that. I, I'm pretty good. Well, if I, as, long as, I, as long as I have the phonetic pronunciation, I can do uh, pretty okay. So what I did last time was basically just to clobber like all of this stuff with this color, uh, and that let me uh, that let me uh, all right. Well, I won't clobber that part yet in case I want to keep that seam. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but uh, uh, yep. Oh, was that the? No, that was the correct way. And then I'll just like, so this would be like my, the base, and then I can just like draw from here. Like, I don't want to change this too much because this is where it is, connects to the, uh, to the other, it connects to the, the previous loop. Um, right, uh, deselect, I, I'll just, untidy, untidy, uh, <laughs> speaking of OCD, um, I don't know, no, this isn't, this isn't OCD, this is just. This is just being cleanly. That was easy. Quick enough. Uh, all right, so should I start from this side? Maybe I should start from this side. I guess start from this side. Um, so yeah, so we just have like slabs of stacked rock kind of going on here, which I guess we could kind of continue. Um, then do it on a separate layer, because I like to do my line art on a separate layer for whatever reason. And, uh, oops, nope, wrong button. Uh, Python and 3D applications. No. Oh, like as a, uh, as like a tools thing? Yeah. Yes, sorry. Um, not much. A little bit. Yeah, um, the uh, the company that I worked for had a, its pro its own like proprietary scripting language. So, uh, I yeah I didn't I didn't I didn't use Python too much, but I uh, yeah I um, from what I hear that's like that's uh, that was what um, like when if dog then taught me how to use Python a little bit. Um, that was like the type of stuff that we 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 learned how to do. Uh, and it does seem really helpful for that. So, uh, what am I doing here? Just like shapes. Just dropping in some shapes. As long as, as long as these shapes. Oh, it has to. Uh, has to. Oops. It has to uh, fill up this spot too. Uh, so shapes. Shapey shape shapes. Uh, shape shapey shapes. <laughs> um. Uh, shapes, shapes, shapes. All right, uh, I'm gonna play with depth slightly. I'm gonna put like a thing here. I don't, I don't know why I announced that. I, <laughs> cause I'm not gonna do it in any like major way. I just, uh, I'm excited for it. Cause now I can put things like slightly inset and they're like, they're like more in the background. So like clearly, oh, and also, yeah, we can just have like flat ground here a little bit. I shouldn't I shouldn't overdo that because uh Yeah, no, I shouldn't. Hmm. But like I mean the way this like goes, like I could I mean like I could like again like this line this line doesn't really depict anything because I'm actually gonna delete this line, but like I could like I could like make these like sandy, moundy, lumpy, like sandstony, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Um, oh, cool. Pernal? Oh, Pymel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Interesting. All right, yeah, I'll add that to my list of things to check out. 
Uh, oh, and if anyone else is curious uh, about the link that Ibuki just posted. Oh, no, he's a mod, so you can see his links. All right, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, once I, uh, once I check that stuff out, then all I'll have to do is learn how to use is learn how to use Maya, and then I'll be all set. <laughs> Maya's easy to use, right? Which I guess is technically one of the good things about it is that it's relatively easy to use, from what I've heard. But like, I don't know, 3D software in general is like so complicated. You like, you need to like, I don't know. I'm what? Sometimes my my tablet is like. It thinks I'm trying to use the start button on my other computer and I really don't know why that is <laughs> it's like anyways um all right so all right <laughs> I um have you seen the 3d projects that I work on Ibuki have you seen like what my 3d art looks like I don't mean to brag but it's pretty pretty outstanding this uh 3d art I uh I tend to work on like, check out this stuff. This, it might blow you away a little bit. Like, see, we have this, like, we have this tall rectangular prism, and we have, like, octahedrons, and, like, these, like, coin-shaped things almost look like cylinders, except actually they're just sprites, but they're, they're supposed to look like, like, really flat cylinders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let's look at some more of my 3D art. <laughs> Grab. Um, this is another game, totally 3D. I mean, it takes place entirely on a 2D plane, so like it doesn't have to be a 3D game. But look at those; those are literal spheres. Those are literal spheres, and look more octahedrons. <laughs> this is actually the same octahedron as in the other game. I was like, oh, I have an octahedron shape already. I'll just use the one I have. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't mean to brag, but like I made this octahedron myself. That's not a like, technically, the spheres and the capsules and uh, and all of those other shapes, those were technically, like, prefabs that came with the, the development thing that I was I was working with. But no, this octahedron, 100% artisanal, handmade octahedron. Uh, yep. So, I, um... I, uh... I don't know. I do pretty well when I work with 3D. I think I do pr pretty well for myself, I would say. Um... Yeah, I guess I should justify both of these edges. Is this what I'm going to do here? Because, like, it could just kind of, like, bring up this wall. I'm tempted to just, like, bring up this wall and then just, like, throw stuff in front of it. No, no, I shouldn't do that. No, I should I should work this into the approach that I tend to. Uh... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I have a, an honorary degree from uh, the Ibuki school of uh, Captain Awesome 3D game art. Hey, Bemzu, how's it going? Oh, sorry, uh, I, was, I was distracted, but welcome back. Uh, Mitsuki, hey! <laughs> I'm rich? Really? Can I can I have that money, then? If I'm rich, can I have that money? That I'm clearly, uh, <laughs> that I'm clearly deserved? Or, uh, that would be nice. <laughs> It would, like, allow me to afford, like, heat in my house. <laughs> That'd be a nice thing to have at some point. Um, sorry, one second. <laughs> Speaking of having heat in my house, let me just go blow my nose. Um, and then turn off the microphone for a second. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> well, I'm doing pretty well. It has nothing to do with money, but I'm doing pretty well. Uh. <laughs> uh, all right. So no, yeah. What should I do with these shapes? I want to do the. Uh, yeah. No, I definitely want to do. Oh, the snowman. The rock snowman. Yeah. Uh, definitely gonna do rock snowman stuff. So. Uh, yes. Forget that line. That line's silly. Pfft, that line. That line. Alright, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, instead we're gonna go, we're gonna go relatively flat. Maybe we're gonna raise it up a little bit. 
All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna like raise it up a bit, right? So it's like it's higher, but then we're gonna do stacking rocks. Stacking rocks. So we're gonna have like a big old thing, like a big flat rock thing. And then how are we gonna justify this? Because like whereas like everything prior to this point was like very smooth and indistinct. Um, <laughs> who is this? Uh, who is this person that shares a name that that says uh, these crazy statements that sound nice but are conf have no factual basis anyway? Um, uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, like, the, everything's, like, all smooth and, like, whatever, whatever, and now, he, so, he, he, this, well, actually, I guess we've done this before, we did this, like, in the cave proper, like, there were times that, um, I'm just gonna open the cave files to, for, for reference purposes, because, like, in the cave, sometimes, we would have, uh, well, I don't need to open the background, uh, in the cave, sometimes, we would have, like, uh, what if parts where the, Oh yeah, right. The petrified tree, like <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, the uh, yeah, this is supposed to be like a petrified. No, this is supposed. To, no, this is not supposed to be a petrified tree. This is supposed to be like a rock wall, and then it's like arbitrary made it like arbitrary like went from like, you know like, just like, this like this rough texture to like oh it blocks all of a sudden. It's blocks. So th I guess this one, I don't think would, I don't think this would necessarily be like a successful example of like blending from that texture from like a, from a more like, you know, sculptural texture to like a more like rigid, like delineated texture. But I, I swear I've done that before. Oh, well here I kind of do it. Wait, what is this? No, I just kind of cheat. I just kind of like, I, here's the doorway and then all of a sudden it's different. Uh, do I ever do I ever do it successfully on here? I kind of do, kind of. No, not really. Like here, I just like, I just have the wall. I just well, okay, yeah, no, I just start stacking things in front of the wall, and then like at a certain point, the wall doesn't matter anymore. Like the wall just becomes the stacked rocks. So I guess I I, I think this is probably more, more like what I want to do. Which is funny because I never actually really made this transition. This was this used to be the seam. Like the seam used to go, I don't know, like to here or something like this. And then, uh, and then I just kind of like stuck these two together and I was like, uh, yeah, I'll just put a few rocks in front of it. Cause, uh, if you were here earlier in this week, you know that my, my solution to most things in life is to just put a few rocks in front of it. Uh, anyways, um, all right, let's, uh, so let's put a few rocks in front of it. So this will just go up like that. And then this will, there'll be this huge stone standing there. And then, uh, I think we'll just never really know what else might have been just, just the, the 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 mysteries of the universe will will just uh take over oh wow this is this is a bit of a stretch i mean this is like a bit of an expanse uh so what I, so i'll just, okay yeah so then i'll just like start putting in like more blocky type shapes as i tend to do uh or no uh, can we I kind of like this smooth, like, uh, vector art. Yeah, I did vector art for um, for one of my other projects uh, that uses a lot of iconography. I like I like vector art for iconography because if I if I want to resize it, like I can keep the fidelity. Um, excuse me. Like, I could, like um, you know, very very like very like finely shaped icons you can like with vector art you can like blow them up or shrink them down and they'll stay crisp and clean uh i don't have a good example well i guess i can just bust open my other project real quick uh that'll load in the background while i continue i like these uh like uh i don't know this shape rock reminds me of like arizona for some reason um or like I don't even know what these are called, but like they're like, uh, yeah, these are my pictures of canyons. I don't know. Uh, I 
Is it Arizona? Or like... Mountain bike race? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, maybe, maybe it's not Arizona. But like... I don't know. There's like a particular like... Manner of like rock. That um... Like this really like smoothed out rock. Like... The rock that's, the rock that's been like so exposed to the elements that it ends up like having like a really... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll just like get back to it. Anyways, uh, HTML5. I um, I kind of wanted to get into HTML5, although it, it felt very light. Like uh, Utah, Utah. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Maybe Utah's. Uh, Oh yeah, like that that kind of thing. I uh yeah, I like that. Uh, and I was, I was I'm like, I don't know if it'll be quite right for like blocking out the type of thing that I'm trying to do. Well, actually, no. I guess like this is kind of like, yeah, I guess this is kind of like what the mountains are. Like, um, not the transition that I'm working on now, but the mountains before. Because like the, I never really like all the shapes are very indistinct and like it's all just very like smooth lines and like light shading. So I don't know. I guess that's what I've been doing. Oh yeah, and like rocks like this shape. Like, I like rocks, like, shaped like this, um, for some reason, and I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I can, like, make part of this, uh, make part of this, uh, spread shape like that, but, I don't, uh, <sighs> I don't know if I actually need to do that, so, um, maybe that was just me sharing a little bit about myself. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this is the game that I, I'm working, this is the next game that I plan on working on. And it's a uh, daily in a playable state. I might have left it in an unplayable state. Uh, oh, yeah, right. So all these icons, uh, which are kind of a mess right now. I need a... It's, like, the thing I was working on last time I worked on this project. Um, but, yeah, like, all these icons I, I did in uh, vector art. Because, so, like... Well, for one thing, they need a lot of work. I need to keep changing... I need to keep... I need to work on the line weight. Because I think... Actually, now that I glance at it, I think this line... This line weight is too thick. Especially for the lightning bolt. Like, it... It looks okay for the drops, but actually no. I mean, the original line weight that I did for this was like this, uh, the the stuff that you see on the square and the crown. So I could probably bring the line weight way down. I could probably bring the line weight way. Down. And that's like the cool thing about um. That's the cool thing about uh. Vector art is that you can you can change the line weight, uh, like like that. Oh, that was me snapping. Um, <laughs> it didn't. It wasn't a very good snap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, so. All right, this is my ode to Utah smooth rocks. Is this this rock right here? But I I, I don't think I can really like stick with that t sort of like shape shapiness because uh, I kind of just have to go back to like other stuff. So so I guess I could just like kind of imply an end to to this rock to like what's whatever supporting it. I can just kind of and then like there can be like another thing. Like kind of behind it, kind of beside it, sort of thing. Uh, I should probably make it a bit taller, just so that it doesn't, you know. So it's it's easier to to put in other things. Oh yeah, and th that was the thing that I was saying is I, I should I should like vary up the height a little bit. So maybe I'll maybe I'll like skirt really close to this edge, and maybe I'll like basically just like ride this edge, and then uh, I don't know what this means actually. I don't know like what's actually going on here, but then. Uh, Maybe like, I don't know, maybe something like this, but then, uh, but then I can, I don't know, I kind of want to do another rock snowman. So I'm going to do another rock snowman here. And this will be my other ode to, oh yeah, right now, this is, the, the <laughs> that part was supposed to be low, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't, uh, uh, rock snowman. I don't know. Like the rock snowmen, I think are cooler with uh with those like smooth Utah stones too. So I can I like when the I like when the the one on top is bigger than the one underneath. I don't know, just stupid stuff like that. Uh, why do people use it for programming games then? Oh, HTML5. Uh, oh yeah, no, because HTML5 is kind of like trying to replace Flash a little bit, because like. HTML5 is kind of like, like previously with like, you know, with HTML, you would embed like a flash player and then that would, or you'd, or you'd embed like a flash application and then it would require like a special flash player that everyone downloads. But like HTML5 kind of like, is like, 
is like sufficient unto itself. Um, <laughs> huge stuff of information can in advance. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rock snowmen. They're cool. There's the mountains already feature one rock snowman, but uh, uh, my favorite language is probably like C languages. I say C languages instead of saying like C sharp or C plus plus because I because there are trade offs between the two, right? Like with C with C sharp, I feel like I'm I don't know. I just it just feels like sleeker a little bit. I don't know. It feels like I I, I just I don't feel like as harried by like the complexity or like the I don't know, like, sometimes C++ feels like overkill, but then on the other hand, like, I think C++ feels like overkill, be not because it's literally overkill, but because it's uh, such a powerful tool that you can, that I think there's stuff that you can do with it that, that you can't otherwise. Um, uh, but it'd probably be a C language. And I'm saying that primarily be not because I've tried so many different languages and that's the one that I like the most, but because it's the one that I've used the most and so it's the one that I'm most familiar with, most comfortable with. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't like compile times. <laughs> so anything, any, any situation I can work in without compile times is, is pretty okay with me. Uh, <laughs> but then, uh, all right. So are we done yet? No, we still have all this to do. <laughs> all right. What, am, what is this shape about? Is this, I, I don't feel like this actually is like the, I don't feel like this actually goes all the way across. So I'm actually going to notch it. A little bit, and then I, oops, wrong tool. I'm going to indent here, and then I'm going to. Uh, there's like there's actually going to be like two, two shapes going on here. Uh, yeah, I'll remember what that means. <laughs> now I can tidy this up a little bit. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, right. Varying up the heights was something that I said I wanted to do. So, so now we have that that snowman, and then I guess uh, I don't want to I don't want to mar the snowman. So I guess I'll do like something like that. I don't want it to. I don't know. The snowman's just like leaning up against something. It's just like hanging out. Like, this is like a cool snowman. He's like he's like just you know he's like what's up. That's all. That's all it is. He's still totally a snowman, though. I'll just have to really sell that in the shading. Uh, inventory systems. That sounds that sounds wonderful. Uh, <laughs> what type of game are you working on? Like, what type of stuff do you keep in your inventory? Is it like an RPG type game where you have like bear pelts and like and like all sorts of equipment and stuff, or is it like a uh, is it more like a like a militaristic game or your inventory or like weapon types and upgrades and stuff like that. Um, no, that's not true, Mitsuki. <laughs> People use HTML5 to program games. <laughs> I've made games in HTML5. I've literally made games in HTML5. You're lying to me. <laughs> Unless you're telling me my life is a lie. And, uh, HTML5. You can you can you can make games in HTML5. Um, it didn't feel very powerful to me, which is why I didn't, which is why I'm not still making games in HTML5. But you can, you totally can. Look up uh, qua quant 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 quant. Oh, I forget what it's called, but it's like I think it starts with like Q U A N. Uh, here, maybe if I type in HTML5 quan, quants, quants, quanta, quants, is that, no, I don't know what it's called, but there's like, if you, if you look up HTML5, like game engines, you can, or like HTML5 game, yeah, stuff like that, there, there's stuff you can find that, um, oh, right, sorry, I forgot your links don't post, <laughs> um, yeah, sure. I'll I'll post this link. I'll, I'll repost this link. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Team Itsuki. I thought you were I thought you were joking. You're joking about the objectively right thing, since you're so objectively wrong, right? You you are joking about it. <laughs> I assume. I'm just gonna assume you are. And and if you are, that's hilarious. And if you're not but no, you totally are, so that's hilarious. Um, all right, so what what is actually is happening here in terms of, like, shape? Like, because this has to be, like, on something. This has to be, like, resting on something. <laughs> I might have to turn off chat <laughs> for a little while. Dimitsuki, I literally made a game in HTML5, so unless you can prove, unless you can prove to me that, like, that whole, that whole span of my life was a vivid hallucination or some other... Uh, or for, in some other manner did not exist, you're objectively wrong. Like, if you're saying that it's not it's not popular to make games in uh, HTML5, that's fine. But if you're saying, like, games are not made in HTML5, you're wrong. <laughs> you're just so wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and actually, if, you, if, that, if that is your point, I think that would qualify you as a troll, and I will... And although I, 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 you're usually an interesting person and someone who I, I would typically engage with, I'm probably going to just have to, like, not feed the troll in this case. So, R.I.P. Dimitsuki. He can talk in Japanese, and Ibuki liked that, but <laughs> fate, fate proved him to be a terrible troll. Um, all right, so, yeah, I, I was, I was getting a little bit excited about the, uh, I was getting excited about the, uh, the, uh, snowman, and I kind of forgot some of the, the, the principles of, like, what we're, uh, what, <laughs> what, what we're, uh, we're doing here, which is, like, imply form, and... Not just any form, but like an interesting form that, uh, so, yeah, so I should probably bring this forward, which means I should drop this back, so, I guess, yeah, more, more rocks. More rocks. <laughs> if you guessed, <laughs> what is Ben going to do to resolve this? If, uh, if you guessed rocks, uh, you are, <laughs> how'd you get so smart? Uh... And I think I think this is gonna be like really quite inset. So uh uh No, that looks too weird. I was gonna set Well, alright, so if I'm gonna inset this, how far inset would it be? Like can I actually push it this far back? That doesn't look like it's inset, that just looks like it's floating. So I'm thinking I should just not not mess with that. I'll just like, I'll just have like a few rocks here, and and then maybe like a taller rock leaning up, like a like a. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna pretend like there's like a rock leaning up against this. <laughs> You're not being banned. I purged your chat. But I'm also not engaging with you. And please don't, like, just put, like, weird walls of text here. Um, the reason I'm rinsing your, your text is because it's not, it's not, you're not contributing to the, the channel right now. You're, like, it's, like, noise. Um, but, uh, right, so rocks, rocks, rocks leaning up against stuff. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I, I should push the, uh, no, you know what, I should, I should, I should convert to more, like, toppled rocks than, uh, I said that like 10 minutes ago, Buki. Oh no, it was probably like 15 minutes ago at this point. Um. <laughs> so, 
Excuse me. Um, hey, Dumitsuki, do you pronounce it GIF instead of GIF? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> um, sorry, I said it stopped engaging with trolls. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, right, so... Just, like, stack stones. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. No, I was saying I'm not going to stack stones. I'm going to I'm gonna try and, like, shift over to... Uh, uh, shift over to, like, more... More, uh... More toppled shapes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I could do, like, toppled, uh... Toppled squarish ones. So, as long as, uh... As long as, like, we cut... At angles closer, uh... <laughs> uh, it's like we could have like topples yeah as long as it cuts down to that angle then you have like oops that was <laughs> really poorly drawn line you have like toppled slabs like uh, like such uh, so I guess um, I kind of want to switch over to a uh, a more uh, <clears throat> excuse me I'm, oh yeah no what am I doing here Maybe, yeah, maybe, okay, so I'll imply more depth here, I guess, with, like, oh, I'm doing the left in front of right thing again. So maybe I should take a step back and, like, plan out the space before I just keep stack, because if I keep, if I just keep going this way, everything to the left comes in front of everything to the right, so, um... Sorry, my hands are chilly. <laughs> um, actually, just one second. Uh, yeah, so... So, these are clearly, like, less form formful. So, let's say this area will be, like, more rigid, and so this area will be, like, more less rigid, <laughs> more less rigid, so this area will be, yeah, uh, well, yeah, maybe we'll start, we'll try and impose rigidity again by here, but then we'll do, like, a toppled area here, um, <laughs> Ibuki is a smart person, or, excuse me, Captain, Captain Awesome is a smart person, <laughs> Uh, Alright, so right, so these are, so this is the toppled area, but what does that mean? What, uh, what are we going to topple over in this area? Uh, I guess I could do, like, the big brown bouldery things. No, I've kind of done that. I don't know why suddenly, like, variety is, like, paramount to me when, like, for the forest, like, it's all, like, the same, like, vertical, just, like, tree trunks the whole way through. Uh... Hmm. Maybe like subconsciously I don't want this project to end, so I'm just like I'm just like clinging to my new shit. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, so uh oh, sorry. Oh wow, I sorry, I toned out uh, tuned, tuned out of chat. Do I watch British Top Gear in America? Um British Top Gear is on Netflix and I tried to watch it once, but then I was like Oh, I don't like cars. That's the one. It's the one about cars, right? Oh, uh, games. Yeah. Um, so on my site, like independently, um, a bunch, like pretty much everything I've made is on my site. So uh, if you go to srsly.bz, um, <clears throat> these are like my three like portfolio projects. I don't know. Uh, I just, like so. So there are these here. There are also like a million other projects that I don't have linked from the main site. So like uh, if you go to seriously.biz/ima. This is the uh, this is the demo that um, I made for a jam that uh, is is the uh, is becoming like this other project that I'm making uh, like this is this so this is like <laughs> this is a more current build but this is like the original build uh, that inspired the project uh, or like you know that I'm this 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 one represents like 30 hours of work and I'm gonna uh, continue on from there and then um, uh, are there I forget if there are any other. Then there are th there are other like there are other projects on my site like R C T Y, which is like the the game we made for uh, 
this is like one of the collaborative games that we made. Uh, we, um... <laughs> oh man, I haven't played this one in a while. <laughs> this was for, uh, sometimes we do collaborative projects on stream where like everybody works together to make a, uh, to make a singular project. Uh, <laughs> try any case. Hey, um, yes, I am in space, but I'm inside my, my vessel. So I just, I have the camera pointed towards the, the window. So we can see space, but don't worry. There's tong tong. There's a, there's a thick, uh, there's a thick sheet of, 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 uh, whatever spaceship glass is made out of. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, oh yeah, I was just showing off games on my site and then um <clears throat> so to answer your question Mimzu, i also um i also when i worked in AAA, I i worked in games like uh rock band and dance central and uh those are the two big ones a few other titles as well so yeah those are my games those are my projects also i encourage other people to share projects too so if anyone has other stuff that they'd uh they'd like to to share uh like links don't um don't work in chat automatically but um if you want to share something uh you can post a link and and i can i can repost the link for you if uh if you'd like to because yeah i like to i like to encourage that sort of thing uh all right so i don't have to get fancy i did my snowman that was cool and then uh so, oh yeah, so for this part, I'm thinking actually, like, uh, I think I might go akin to what we had here, here, where it's like, it's like toppled stuff, but it's like, it's like toppled stuff on top of like a vaguely formed sort of stuff. So, um, <laughs> um, so where's the vague form? I guess the vague form could give into the, uh, all right. So yeah, I should start the vague form. Ooh. Uh, no, I'll do the vague form here. All right. So scratch this stuff. I mean, I might keep, I might put that boulder back in, but, um, scratch this like tilty thing. Yeah. This is where, uh, all right. So I'm going to do like rock here. Oh, right. Yeah, so unlike uh unlike this other one, we can't we can't have it like a descend. We can't cuz we still we have to keep it we have to keep it up. So I'll just do like this tiered approach, I think. Huh. So actually maybe wait, no. All right, so what if I kept this and then did the tiered thing? It's like uh it's like so there's like a uh, rock here, rock here, and these are like, wait, <laughs> those are not on the same level. There's a rock here and a rock here, and then, uh, and then there's like a block shape here. I mean, this, I guess this is actually quite similar to what I've been doing, which is good, because then it will seem cogent, I suppose. Oh, but these should, uh, these should rest at the same, same height. Uh, whoops. <laughs> That's, um, all right, so if anyone's cur curious about the context of the, uh, those random words that we see floating along the bottom of the screen, the, uh, the game is actually playing out right now in another chat channel. Um, so I don't know if you can do this on mobile, but if you're on a, if you're on a, a computer, you can, uh, you can pop over to this other chat channel where, um, the full text of the event is, is conveyed. Eventually when the game is done, the full, like, we'll actually bring it over to this chat channel here. But, um, yeah, for now it's, uh, it's all happening over in this other channel and, uh, so if you're curious that, that what, what happened there is, uh, you were king for the day in that event. You were king for the day, and you your option, you, the things you could do were you could uh, you could declare a, I think it was a declare, erect, and ride, right? So it was declare a national holiday. You could erect a statue in your image. 
Actually, no, I guess it doesn't specify. It just says you can erect a statue. And uh, and you can ride the royal griffin. Are the things you can do there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so for example, right now it says fire and chase because uh, the current event is uh, that uh, goblins are burning down a village, and so you can either put out the fires or chase the goblins away. Uh, so that's what those are about <laughs> for anyone who hasn't who is unfamiliar with the uh, the general uh, way that that game plays. Um, <laughs> why can I not draw lines today? <laughs> it's like I forgot what lines are. It's Friday. We're we're. Uh, I think I'm. I decided earlier today that um, it's going to be a bit late today, because we made it to the end of the week, and so it's going to be a bit late at the end of the week, and we have this light at the end of the tunnel, so we're just going to just going to take it easy. We're going to relax. We're going to make stone snowmen and uh, stack blocks and whatnot. Uh, all right, so this would. Oh yes, yeah, I have to justify the top line. Uh, so, oh yeah, so what was it? What was my plan over here? Was to yeah, this is where it's supposed to like get a little bit crazy. So, so by this point, I guess we'll get back to stacking shapes again. Like this, uh, this like I don't know. Maybe it'll maybe this will just be like a seem like kind of like a broken down area of like what will otherwise be like fairly consistent. <laughs> Look at all the little people running across the bottom of the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> um oh cool uh sorry i not that i don't trust you i just i tend to open links on my other computer first um uh, oh cool all right this is a this is a this is a bamzoo's link and then uh Hold on, let me look at two of Anakis's. <laughs> Alright, I'll repost this. Wait, I can't show it on stream though. Uh, <laughs> this is two of Anakis's. Like, I'm not going to watch it right now, but uh, if anyone else out there is inclined to watch it, it's a staple of, uh, of our collective culture so <laughs> oh oh okay so oh sorry so bamzu didn't make the didn't come up with the game bamzu just put the pieces together <laughs> if i understand correctly so i'm just gonna mute the microphone for one second Sorry for the delay. Alright, um... Alright, yeah, so... Yeah, we have... <laughs> I don't know why I'm actually connecting lines to these shapes. These shapes here are only supposed to represent, um... That they're supposed to be form and structure here. Um, so wait here, I'll, uh... Let's get rid of this one, and, uh... Uh... Well, yeah, that's cool. It looks like it. It looks like you you followed the tutorial well, cause it it looked like it came out. Uh, <laughs> oh well, that wasn't my link. That was uh. I don't know. I don't know whose link that was. I also don't care. <laughs> Thanks, Ibuki. Can we? Can we also do a thing where we just don't talk about that anymore? It, that'd be cool. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, this is where we're back to. Uh, uh, this is where we're back to. Back to form. Back, back on more of a structure of uh, whatever sort. 
and uh, so what happens between here and there? I just guess just like just like rock rocks, big old rocks. Just one big rock. <laughs> Don't know what to do. Put one giant rock in between everything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm at a point where, like, my silly ideas are the ones that I'm like, probably going to actually go with. It's actually, I'm, I don't know, this will be bigger. No, that's not what I was planning on doing here. Alright, I'll, I'll actually do what I was planning on doing here. I was going to do, like, a tiered sort of thing. Uh, right, I, I even said as such, as much. Uh, so, oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right. So the other thing I was going to do is actually, like, put, like, shapes in front of shapes. Oh, I'm getting too detailed, probably. I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, actually, yeah, before I get to, yeah, I'm just getting really detailed right here. So before I do that, I'm going to um, see how detailed is too detailed. Uh, so I'm going to export this real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be... I'm not going to... I'm not going to neutralize this guy or anything, so it's... No, this isn't going to give a good... Alright, no, I should just... Alright, so no, I, I can just... I can just do this. I can just do this. I swear I can do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you, Vamzer. <laughs> Maybe I was bad at art when I started, but now it's taken me so long to to finish this that <laughs> I actually like acquired some level of uh <laughs> of capacity for it like throughout the process. <coughs> I don't know, I don't have another explanation for it. Um all right, so yeah, even something like this I don't think is I think is just a closer level of detail than uh And what's needed. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, uh, again, bigger. Bigger is better. For a number of reasons. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I should be working from the ground up. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, just, um, just to mention, um, when I said, please share your things, like, I meant, like, big things, like, because I can't spend my, I can't spend my entire time repasting minutia, but, like, if you have, like, a, like, a major project, so, like, you know, like, not, like, a, like, here's many little things, but, like, you know, here's the big thing that I've been working on for the past several years. Like, if you have something like that, please feel free to, to share that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, sorry if I wasn't clear earlier. I'm not, I'm not going to be spending any more time reposting smaller things, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I, I did not specify at first, and so... I, of course, obliged to repost what was posted because I had not specified, now I have specified, and I will not be obliging any further. <laughs> Just to get that out of the way. Uh, Alright, so... So, right, so... Uh, I don't know, whatever, there can be another... thing here. Yeah, I guess... I guess, like, I'm trying to... I'm, like, I keep, I keep trying to think about... Uh, uh, I keep, I keep thinking of this, and this is, like, this has so many small pieces to, like, really, like, sell the effect of what's going on, and I really can't use small pieces, so I keep, like, yeah, I, I think that's why I'm, um, not, uh, I'm just, yeah, whatever, I just have to, there'll just be two chunks, it, it'll be tiered, but it'll only be tiered in, like, two, two chunks, just these two, and I just keep forgetting that, like, it, it's not supposed to go all the way down. It's not supposed to go all the way down. I should just, like, chant that to myself. Not supposed to go all the way down. 
uh, it's only supposed to go far enough that there's still room in front of it. So like that, for example. And that's because I want to put stuff in front of it. If you guessed I want to put rocks in front of it, you're right. I do. Um, so... Uh, something like this. Uh, I don't know. I'm emptying stuff out. Uh, all right. So, um. <laughs> Um, right, I should, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not at that point yet, I'm still just kind of like throwing stuff around, so I guess that was sufficient for whatever, I, yeah, I should be breaking up the height more, so, oh yeah, so, alright, so I can, I guess if like, if I'm using this tiered whatever, then I can, then I can make a taller, a taller tiered thing, it's like, Maybe it's like that, but then it can also, we can also have like a stack that goes like this as well, or, uh, or yeah, it can go like, I don't know, it can go like here, no, here, and then also have like a stone in front of it, because everything has a stone in front of it, <laughs> and then, uh, oh, and then, yeah, I do have to... And then, yeah, and then I'll d then that, that giant boulder that I was planning on putting in. I can put it in here instead. Oops, not that far. It'll be, like, here. Oops. <laughs> accidentally pressed the button on my stylus. There's, like, a button right on the side of my stylus. and first, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it basically just makes it so that whatever I'm doing stops happening. Like, whatever line I'm drawing just, like, stops getting drawn. Uh... Uh, and then I should just connect these two. <laughs> I'll just like make a random rock in the back. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, actually, no. I guess it'd be more like uh, more like that size. Not even that size. Be like that's not quite that small. Something like that. Whatever. Uh, and then uh, yes. Yeah, so then what do we have here? I guess. Why not have a thing pointed like, oh yeah, let's have a thing that goes like, I don't know, like, uh, wait, I don't know what this is. This thing should be dark. <laughs> Just kind of ambiguous. And then, uh, and then have a shape coming across like this, maybe? Uh, and then, right, so this is, these are not actual lines, these are just lines to imply that we've gone back to a more structured area, uh, and then, uh, I might leave that like that, but then put, like, a rock here, one that would actually stay on the ground, uh, or something, uh, yeah, no, I should put one here, <laughs> uh, yeah, just a small one. So many rocks. No, I'm done. Too many rocks. There's no rocks. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't know. This was supposed to be like the rubble pile, though. Yeah, whatever. It never got very rubbly. It stayed mostly fairly structured the whole, th the whole way through. I don't care. So, okay, one more rock. Just one more. Just this last one. Last rock. Uh... All right, last rock. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, we still, didn't, we still didn't get very tall. Whatever, tall enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um, so, do 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 do. 
Uh, oh, I guess, well, no, yeah, so I'll just, uh, so, I kind of want to do, like, slanty rock stuff a little bit. Oh, yeah, I never, I never justified what this is actually, oh, no, I, I kind of did, I started to justify what this is sitting on. It's, like, it's sitting on something that's, like, like, kind of, like, slightly ang edged towards the, uh, towards the view. So like something like this, I guess. Uh, and I could put another rock right here. <laughs> I felt like it. And I might feel like it. Are right, all the rocks like the exact same size here? No, there's a little bit of variety there. Alright. <laughs> um. This, uh... No, whatever. Okay. That one's fine. Um, so, right, so, so I think for this I might do, like, I don't know. I might do, like, stacked stones. Like, I don't, like, these giant, like, stone dominoes that have fallen over. For some reason I want to do that. So there are these, just these giant stone dominoes right here for some reason, and they've all fallen over. But they're not, like, so... They're not like so all uniform. Like there's some difference in the uh, in like the shape of them. Uh, for example, this one's probably slightly bigger. Uh. <laughs> I should start here. <laughs> I think that's the line that I was that I kept messing up on. So do I actually do I want it like that? No, probably not. I don't know. If I can get it if I can get it to look like how I'm like kind of picturing it in my mind, then maybe. But I might this might have been not a good idea. Uh yeah, no, that's fine. Oh yeah, and this can uh <clears throat> and this can kinda like like I'll just kinda go like a little abstract into like the the next shape it'll just be like uh that's too abstract uh but like the uh yeah like the it's like this form will just be i don't know, like the first two will be a little a little more squarish but then this one i guess will be a little less so and then it'll then we'll just kind of like break form entirely uh these are not actual things just to indicate to go back to less structural more Lucy, whatever, like pile of rocks sort of uh, vibe. So this is just like, <coughs> excuse me. This is more of just like a rock. That uh, wow, I feel like I've really changed scale. Because uh, like all a lot of these shapes now are extending all the way to like, like from the top to the bottom basically, like. The shapes that are touching the top are also the shapes that are like resting on the ground. So, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, and then, so then this this will just be another pile of rocks. This will just be like a, a straight up pile of rocks. Because uh, for some reason, pile of rocks is the terminus. I don't know. Whatever. It, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> hey, Mishpa, how's it going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, this one's fake. This one's not actually there. Uh... Alright, so now circles. Circles. Circle, circles. Uh... <laughs> So big circle, smaller circle, uh, smaller circle, uh, circle, circle, circle. circle 
Excuse me. Uh, circle. Yeah, this might be okay. This might be sufficient. All right, so what is this? This one, these ones, that one's in the background. Uh, oops. All right, we're almost there. I know I've been saying this all week, but we're almost there. And, I mean, technically we... It's been true all week, because, I mean, like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, like, just a week, you know? What's a week, really? And it hasn't even been the full week, because I, I, I wasn't working on this stuff on Monday, so it's, it's just been since, uh... It's just been since Tuesday. Oops. Not... Not deleting that stuff. Oops. Well, how did I switch to... I swear, there's some keystroke that switches to the zoom tool, which... I don't know what it is, but it, I, I keep accidentally triggering it. I don't know why you'd need a keystroke for that. Whoever uses the zoom tool, whoops, wrong, wrong tool. Uh, whoever uses the zoom tool, you can just do control mouse wheel to zoom. Uh, Alright, this one is supposed to be a little, this one got a little schmumpy, but, um, it's actually supposed to be like that, kind of. And this one, this one's in the very front. And this isn't actually even the final shading. This is just uh, me defining which ones are in front and which ones are in back. Um, so that it's, it'll be quicker to go through the final shading pass. Those three little dudes running across the bottom of the screen incessantly. They are my spirit animal right now. <laughs> I wish I had that much energy. Not that I feel tired or anything, despite the fact that I've been yawning intermittently. I really don't actually feel tired, per se. I just, uh... I just, uh... I don't know. I don't think I've ever felt like those guys feel in my entire life. I've never felt that excited about anything. <laughs> Look at them go. Look at them go. You can't even make out their legs exactly. They're just like indistinct, like. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not dying, I hope. Um, but I sure have this persistent cough, which. Not my favorite, but. Um. Actually, excuse me one moment. I'm just going to turn off the microphone for no particular reason. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, Alright. Uh, rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. Rocks, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Rocks. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's finish up our what's in front, what's behind pass. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more second. Just one more. Sorry about that. Um, alright. Excuse me. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, um, I never was, like, out with a cold. Like, I never got bad. But, like, this week my nose has been a little sniffly. And, like, and, uh, and apparently I, I cough a lot. I've been coughing a lot this more this week than, than usual. Like, it's been not so much more. Like, it's just been a little bit more. So, like, it... It never got to the point that I was like, oh, I'm sick or anything. But, like, yeah, now that I look back across this week, like, I don't know. 
I guess I am sick or I was sick or like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not enfeebled. I don't feel bad or anything. I just, uh, I just cough a lot for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. So first I'm going to shave the sky and then I'm going to uh, kill the top line, and then I'm going to uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe I'm my body is deprived of pollutants, and so it doesn't know how to uh, doesn't know what to do. I haven't adapted to healthy living yet. <laughs> Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, that's funny. Alright. Well. Yeah, so I'm not dying. I'm in, I'm in fact getting healthier. It's just, uh, my body doesn't know how to respond to all this health. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just freaking out briefly. That'd be nice. Doop 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 doop. I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. I don't, these lines don't have to be very precious or anything. Uh, I kind of just like threw them in the first time. And they're good, but like it's not like the shape is like so utmost that it can't have a little uh, like fudge factor. Except for this one. This one is utmost. This one is pivotal. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's so weird. I, I mean, like, I'm not, like, a biologist or anything, but... So I, I'm sure if a biologist explained it to me, I'd have no clue... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what they were saying, but, like, I would... I don't know. I'm just, like... Like, what on earth is happening there? Like, what? I mean, I guess it's just that we're, like, very delicate creatures, really. Like, we're the strangest, like, most rugged, delicate creatures... I mean, and this isn't actually just true about humans, but it's just, like, life in general is so, like, so, so durable and so fragile at the same time. Like, uh, like, people can survive falling out of airplanes every once in a while, but then, like, you just, like, change, you just slightly adjust the quality of air, and all of a sudden, the body is just like, uh, what's that? <laughs> I, I do not understand. Um... Wow. That's funny, though. I'd, never, I'd actually never heard of that phenomenon before. Um, I guess, uh... I'm trying to think of, like, when I first moved down to the area. I don't... Oh, you know what? When I first moved down to Boston, I moved down during the spring. And I tend to get ill during the spring. Like, I tend to get a cold during the spring because, uh it starts getting warmer out and I forget that it's not like perfectly warm out. It's just warmer out. And so I get a cold because I like, I like run outside in uh, a t-shirt and shorts, not shorts, but like I run outside like in a t-shirt and uh, when the, when the weather is like 50 degrees out, <laughs> I'm like, it's not freezing anymore. <laughs> and then I instantly get a cold. So I guess if I, if I would have gotten a, if I would have, noticed anything just changing from the air going to that environment it probably got I probably wouldn't have noticed it at all because I probably got sick around then anyways uh yeah <clears throat> so sorry I uh I'll try not to cough profusely into the microphone <laughs> but I might cough a little bit and for that I apologize uh Uh, oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my list of things to check out. Because, I don't know, it's just... Nature is 
terrifying and fascinating sometimes. So I, I'm I'm guessing that'll f fall into the category of like things that'll like make me slightly paranoid for a day about the uh, about how biology works. <laughs> but then I'll forget about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right, we're almost there. Kind of. We're making progress. Totally. Totally progress. So, what I can do today that I was not nearly as good at on uh, Monday of this week is I can throw I can throw imaginary rocks on top of each other. That is now within my skill set. I can now throw imaginary t rocks on top of each other in a variety of different ways. Uh, yep. <laughs> I am building out my skill set in such serious and important ways. Why can I not do this line? I think the original line was just weird. I don't know, so I, I was trying to replicate a weird line. But um, yeah, so if anyone needs imaginary rocks thrown on top of each other, <laughs> let me know. I, uh, I I might now have some tips for you. What to uh, what rocks to stack, what rocks not to stack. Although, actually, if you if you do ask me anything about that, it, specifically if you ask me like, so I'm stacking rocks and I don't know what to do, or like I'm stacking rocks, blah 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 blah, and I got to this one part and I don't know what to do. My answer will unilaterally be put a rock in front of it. Because that's the beautiful thing about stacking rocks. Like, if anything, if there's anything that you don't understand, why bother trying to understand it? You can put a rock in front of it, and it will just never matter. It will just go away and <laughs> never matter. It's a little bit perfect in that way. Uh, sorry, I'm listening to music. Um, so yeah so the next thing uh i have to get good at speaking of things i have to get good at is uh bushes i just need a i just need all the bushes i need to bustle some hedgerows if you know what i mean i don't know what i mean so i'd be impressed if you know what i mean uh i need to uh well it's, okay so what i'm actually talking about is uh this is the so this is the transition from the mountains to the cave and uh, this is the mountains this is the transition from the mountains to the cave uh, so the other the the last piece that we'll need in order to complete our circuit uh, of non-temporary art or a less temporary art is uh, is to complete the circuit is to is to add in the transition from the cave into the forest and so the interesting thing about that like this is that it's another transition from an exterior space to an interior space or it's, an, it's another it's another transition wherein one of the spaces is exterior and one of the spaces is interior uh, so much like with this one there will be a uh, there'll be some I did it I somehow got oh Z probably is the zoom tool or something. Yeah, shortcut Z. Ugh. Anyways. Uh, oh, there are other shortcuts too. So the paintbrush is B, E, I don't care. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so like where we're making these giant rock walls uh, to hide the seams in uh, the transitions from, sorry, from, uh, the uh, the mountains into the cave. Uh, we're gonna use shrubbery and whatnot to to make a transition, and just like veg basically just thick vegetation to transition between the uh, or to, to like to justify the transition between the uh, the cave and the forest. So it'll be kind of similar in that we'll have like certain heights, and actually it'll probably be the same height that we have to. We have to justify and uh, oh look we're we're done we're right at the end here. Uh, 
It'll be the same height, and uh, it'll just be in the opposite direction. Um, and uh, yeah, so now uh, select this stuff. Bullet. What? I said bullet. I said bullet. There we go. Wow, that's weird. For some reason, this first time I pressed it, it didn't do anything. Uh, anyways. Uh, so now... Oh, wow. Oh, it only got half of it. <laughs> uh, elite. Uh, and so, alright, so now the other thing... So now the next step is to delete that top line. Because that top line is not a real thing. <coughs> Draw. I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm drawing it. <laughs> um, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> um, I, uh, well, you came to the right place, I guess, if you'd like to find out, because I'm still drawing. So if you want to see how I draw, then, then this is it. These are the secrets revealed. Um, so actually, yeah, so what we just did, like, if you are curious, is, like, we just went through... And we basically just made shapes. We just made shapes that, like, stack together. Like, we just made shapes that touch each other. Like, literally all we did is we just filled out this this whole thing. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we literally, we just filled up this, um, so, like, a few seconds ago, this, uh, this whole, um, this whole top row was filled in. And, like, we, we chiseled this line through it just because, uh, we, um, you know, we were, we finished making our shapes and we, um, we were ready to get rid of the, uh, the excess. Uh, and so we got rid of the excess. But yeah, basically what we did is we just made shapes that touch each other. <laughs> and the importance of them touching each other is that, like, like if you look in any direction, you're going to see something. Like, if you, you never look in a direction and see nothing. And so in order to have, like, a full picture, you have to, uh, everything has to touch each other. I mean, um, so, like, the way the parallax works is that you don't, like, um, you know, you have, you can see through one layer into the other layer, but like the back layer, like you're always seeing, you, if you look far enough in any direction, you always see something. So, uh, this, so this, this particularly had to be like a wall. And so we, uh, we weren't putting any gaps in it. And so we just made sure that like, we just drew shapes that like they, you know, just thinking about like how things slide around. Like if we put like, so like we put these little circly things on top of these blocky things. Cause like, if you put a circle on top of a block, you know, unless it's a perfect circle, it's not going to, it's not going to roll around too much. Like it'll eventually like settle into like a position somewhere. Um, so basically, yeah, we have, uh, wow, I might've overdone it with like the, uh, I might've overdone it a little bit. I might need to put in, and I, I might need to justify some of this stuff because right now it looks a little bit in the air, but Actually, maybe that's okay. Uh, maybe that's okay over here, but I should I should put I should put another circle here. Uh, cause that's that's too far off the ground. Uh, so. Uh, pardon. Uh. Oops, wrong color. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so, shapes, shapes and stuff. Shapey, shapey, shapes. Shapey, shapes. So yeah, first the shapes overlapped each other, but then I went in with an eraser, and for every shape that was in front, like, you can't, the shapes aren't see-through, so, we just, uh, we just, uh, erase the lines that you can see through. Um, all right, so, yeah. <laughs> nope, circular things, locky things. That's, <laughs> yeah, multi-twitch. Hey, Trent, how's it going? <laughs> um, yeah, right, so, <laughs> yeah, so we have these, uh, we have these shapes that we did. So, um, the, uh, you, so if you look down at the bottom of the screen, the stuff that's scrolling across the bottom, you can kind of see how I set up the, uh, this, so we're making something that connects to that. And so you can kind of, 
you can kind of see the way that we set this up is that like there's not like a t there's not like a thick line on the top of it like it's a uh, there's like here this layer I, I lowered the opacity but like so these dark lines like there's no um whoops uh there's not like supposed to be this dark outline around everything so the first thing that we're going to do is like we carved out the top line so so now we can get rid of the top line uh the dark line on the top because it's not it's not actually going to be there the the top line is actually just going to be smooth and that 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 giant brown thing that just scrolled past is actually what we're about to replace that's that's the space that we're filling in now uh we're filling in the transition between the uh the mountain and the uh and the uh uh the the cave space so yeah we we now have our silhouette defined, so we can go in and we can get rid of some of these unnecessary lines. We'll keep some of them for uh, so that we remember what are what uh, what are all these shapes that we just defined, because some of them will persist when we go when we go in and start doing the shading. Not all of them, but I'm I'm keeping most of them for starters, just because we'll we'll figure out which ones we need later on, and it's easy enough to remove them once we don't need them anymore. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You were probably there when I quit this project a few times, at least. Because I've quit this project and we... Oh, I forgot to do the, uh... forgot to do the invisible line here. Uh. Yeah, I quit this project a few times. Um. But. Yeah. I don't know. Just uh, it got to the point that, and I was I was actually musing on this a little bit earlier. Is uh, I uh, I uh, I think like as I as I get closer to the end of it, like like well, not the end, but like as I get closer to like a finished version of it, I um, it keeps occurring to me that like, oh, I actually want this to be good. Like I actually want this to, not just be like sloppy and thrown together. Um, and so the, the cave is like kind of the perfect example of that because I ended up spending like way too much time on this cave just because, uh, I, I don't know. This was like the point at which I was like, oh yeah, no, I got, I, I want, I want real backgrounds. Like I want real, I want realish, like I want, I want art to be as real as I personally am able to make art real. So, uh, here I am spending multiple days working on like the same, same like set of whatever, uh, same like vis the same visual element. I should uh, now that it just occurred to me, I should drop this in and see how it looks uh, before I. Oof. Well, I mean, at this point, it could only cause heartbreak. But like hypothetically, if I drop this in, just to see how it looks, I might find out that I need to make like some severe alterations to it. So. I don't know. I guess it's better to find that out as soon as possible. So I'll finish clearing out this thick, this dark top line, and then I'm I'm gonna export it and see see what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jen. Um, I uh, yeah. I mean, that's the nice thing about art is that if you're uh, if you're bad at it, like I was on Monday, then uh, It'll take you forever, but all that time you spend practicing, you'll get better at it. So here I am on Friday, and I actually know how to make rocks sit on top of each other and whatnot. <laughs> I was bragging earlier about how good I am now at uh, making rocks sit on top of each other. All right, I'm going to nuke this, squish these together, and then save as... Uh, not as PDN, but as ping. This is bg0.ping. So save that, and then undo those changes we just made. Um, what is this? Glitch H2A, hey, how's it going? Um, well, I, you, I think you, if you've seen this stream before, and I think you have Glitch H2A, you'll know that I don't play games on stream, but um, I can share your link. Um, and, uh, and I can play it later. 
Um, so here is a uh, here's glitch HDRA's link, and I'm going to add it to my list of things to do later, which is admittedly a little bit of a long. Come on, add to the list. What are you doing? Stop it. Add to the list. Uh, it's admittedly a bit of a long list, but I I do intend to get to that at some point. Um, thank you, glitch HDRA. Seems cool. Uh, oh, that's awesome. So congratulations on that, because that's great. Uh, space my name. Uh, I have not seen your latest teaser trailer. Would you like to share your latest teaser trailer? Uh, <laughs> and then we can all see your latest teaser trailer. Uh, speaking of stuff... Oh. Yeah, I don't... I'm going to restart the script, because I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if this... I, I wasn't paying attention to when that transition happened, so I don't know if it's going to use the new art or the old art. So anyways, uh, shouldn't take too long. All right, we're starting our script. We're in the mountains, and let's see. Whoa, wait. Oh, is it? Oh, no. My stream's still working. Is chat not working? I um, This crash happens when, when Twitch chat stops working. So chat seemed to be working, and it, I'm still seeing chat, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if chat cuts out. So if you have anything to say, say it fast. <laughs> or forever hold your peace. Uh, so... Uh, last time chat went out like this? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be working, but like last time uh, chat like died like this, it stayed out for a while. Uh, and like, the only... And like, I don't know if you guys remember this day. What was it? I think it was like... It must have been like Monday of this week or something. Here's uh, here's Space My Name's uh, link. Um, and uh, yeah, if it when that when that happened, um, the stream stayed up, and so I was still able to stream. It just it was just really quiet in chat because <laughs> because of the like the chat wasn't working. So uh, I don't know. Maybe that was just a fluke. Maybe that one. Maybe that's not. Maybe it's not that happening. All right, it seems to be working now. So, all right, let's see if this transition is roughly what we want. So what we'll see this time around is we'll see, like, the, the transition. The first thing that will happen is the mid-layer will come in, and it'll start to transition in. And it'll start, it'll transition in a fair distance, actually. But then, uh, what is it? Like, once it's, like, a little less than halfway, or, like, once it, yeah, no, a little less than halfway on screen, it will start to, uh, the, the next one, the, um, the uh, the front layer will start to transition in as well, so should be happening quite soon. Here it goes. So the the mid layer comes in, and so we start like seeing some more ma some more like shapes in the foreground, and then yeah, here comes the uh, here comes this layer too. So basically, there's just like instead of like looking now at the mountains in the background, there's more just shapes like there's more like geometry. Um, I call I don't know. There's more just like stuff happening in the foreground, and so that. That brings us to our cave, cave-like place, and uh, yeah, and then uh, and and the rest is history. Um, so that thing about hey, maybe I'll I'll end up scrapping everything and starting over. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, maybe there's some degree to which I can salvage this. <laughs> so what just occurred to me is like, I don't want to have all this junk here. I want to, uh, I want to have the cave mouth much closer up front. And I just want to do more cave interior. So a lot of this I can use for cave interior. So that's good. And then some of it I probably just can't use for cave interior. Oh, but do it. Can I do the color conversion? Yeah, I guess I can do the color conversion. Okay, because I did them. I did these on separate layers. So. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hmm. 
Sorry, one second. Uh, sorry, one second. Yeah, I think I'm going to convert this to cave interior. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just... We're just going to drag one giant rock over this entire thing, I think is the new plan. So, we're going to keep... Uh, Alright, I'm going to have to, like, split this up and stuff and, like, get weird about it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, man. I really should have, I really should have, like, not spent as much time on that thing that I just did and then, uh, and tested it out sooner. Because if I tested it out sooner, I would have realized this sooner, too. Uh. <laughs> I guess so. Maybe. Um. <laughs> um, Alright, so, yeah, let's make a new layer for the, like, the, the real layer. Uh, let's, um, from the bottom layer, let's copy this whole thing. Right? Let's just copy, like, all of this. Copy, put it on this top layer here over here so yeah so actually I guess yeah no we'll just uh it's like uh yeah we'll just put this basically here um And then we'll we'll put stuff around it. And then all right. So what? If, how much of this stuff can we keep as the cave interior? How much of this do we have to get rid of? I guess that will become clearer if we tab here and then uh, right. So like with the cave, like there's this uh, the cave. There's this the ceiling like goes at roughly this level. It goes consist oops, it goes like consistently across the whole thing. Oops. You can do this this way. Oops. <laughs> you can do this. Alright. I should clearly should be zoomed slightly in further because I I don't seem capable of keeping the line steady enough at that at that distance. Alright, so the Yeah, so the uh 'cause like the this these rocks that we're drawing out here are drawing them kind of in a style similar to the rocks that I drawn in, in the cave interior, so it's entirely possible a lot of this stuff I can just like pick up and use as the cave interior. Uh, and that would be nice. Uh, some of it will not work like that. And that will be less nice. Uh, but the good thing that will come out of all of this is that the transition will look a little less weird. Not like completely less weird, but like a little less weird. Maybe I should look at this transition at like regular speed or something. I was just thinking, uh, uh, oops, I got a little tall with it. I think it was actually supposed to be a little bit lower than that. Uh, oh, hmm, uh, maybe I can keep some of these rocks, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, I was just thinking, uh, no, I wasn't too low with it. Sorry, uh, I should, I should give myself guidelines, because <laughs> I'm going to keep getting out of sorts if I keep trying to do this manually, uh, or if I just keep trying to guess at this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Alright, so how high is this typically exactly normally? Uh, so it all happens like roughly this layer, around this whole section here. 
So like the the darker layer happens like in roughly a little for, it extends a little further down than this. It's so like additive selection, like that basically. So this is basically the range of the. Uh... Oh, sorry. Um, I was. Uh, I think I was mumbling a little bit. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. I'll I'll try and speak louder. Uh, yes. Um, so uh, the. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, all right. So uh, yeah. So this is roughly about the height that we want the uh, that we want the uh, that that dark top bar to be. Uh, I I like my current mic balance. So you pro you probably listen to a lot of like loud streamers, would be my guess, because um I do I do check the audio balance for my stream and. Uh, this is the this is actually like about the level that I, I like it because some people out there are just really loud so that's that's them there some people out there are really loud <laughs> so uh, all right uh, edit invert selection what am I doing uh, I guess new layer copy uh, <laughs> uh, new layer, paste, <laughs> and then, uh, wait, no, yeah, no, this works, <laughs> invert selection, and then, uh, which layer is it? This is the layer that I'm working on, right? All right, so, <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right, yeah. So then, for this band, I guess we're, we're adding this color basically the whole way. Uh, yeah, and I'll just do it the quick way. Uh, the like a rectangle tool, um, and I'll I'll make it look less rigid and stiff. Uh, but yeah, that's a slightly better guideline. So yeah, I was going a little too high in some of these places. Um, Alright, so deselect uh, this color again. Uh, Alright, so. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, this, this, this is legit. Uh, so, it's going a bit low in some cases. And. It doesn't have to go too low though. This thing doesn't have to be that drop down. This is just uh this is, I don't know. I think I think I put this in so just to add like a sense of it's like just a slight sense of like curvature to the uh to the uh yeah and that this is probably actually too low. Like a sense of curvature to the cave, so it felt like you were like in a tunnel. Like it wasn't like too boxy or anything. I don't know. Uh, and then, all right. So now let's go in with this color. Uh, actually, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of an awkward line. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to stomp too much, but I don't, I don't want it to look all rigid. So. <laughs> This will probably be fine. I could just copy and paste <laughs> this top. I could just copy and paste this top line <laughs> from this uh, from this here. I could just uh, all right. So what do I want to do here? Yeah. So unselect. No, wrong tool. <laughs> unselect this part. Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, unselects a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so invert selection. 
uh, copy and uh, switch over here. Oh, it's copy. I copied from wrong, wrong layer, didn't I? Uh, copy. <clears throat> Bourbon and soda. All right. Uh, oh yeah, sure. I I probably had something like that before. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, so let's get rid of this part. And then uh, there we go. That was easier than having to redraw it and try and get it like it was before. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, control deselect. I probably have to tidy it up a little bit, right? Because it probably like got a little weird. Oh wow, I was still going. I still wasn't going very low with the. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go brush size four. I'm gonna... Sorry, just one more pass on this. Uh... This blue stripe, which apparently I just keep going too high with. Just high all the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm I, I'm getting quiet again with the... Whoops. Wait. Oh, yeah, right. I was supposed to smoosh these layers. Uh, I'm getting quiet with my speech patterns again. I think that's another thing, is that, like, when I'm not talking with, like... When I'm not talking confidently, when I'm, like... When I'm like uncertain or like, just like, I don't know. When I when I'm not sure exactly about what I'm saying, I uh, I think I tend to I think my I naturally tend to talk quieter then too. So sorry about that. I will try and keep a consistent. Uh, has anyone noticed he keeps going tut? Who keeps going tut? I don't know what that means. If you're talking about me. I haven't noticed I'm going tut, so if I'm going tut, I'm doing it subconsciously. Although I don't actually know what tut means, so... <laughs> uh... <laughs> that might be why I don't realize I'm doing it. What is tut? Oh, like... Like that sort of thing? Like... Uh, yeah, that's like my I don't know noise. That's like... If I'm like... If I'm trying to make a decision, I go like... I'm like... Or, I don't know. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but like that's like my that's like my, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's like my I'm making a decision noise. It's like uh, it's like that's me de that's me firmly declaring that a decision must be made, and uh, <laughs> and uh, if you hear that noise, that means uh, that means uh, a decision is is not far off. So change change is on the horizon or uh, or or at least uh, a staunch resolution will will follow shortly thereafter. All right, this is good enough. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Spaceman. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Uh. I don't know how much of this is like worth salvaging. I should probably just like. Maybe I'll just copy and paste from <laughs> from in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take like a bunch of this stuff, and just like go with it. Uh. Uh. I don't know. It's not a not the worst idea in the world. Nah, I should just I should just do it again. Uh, <laughs> it's not that much space. I do feel a little silly. I really didn't expect to uh, to destroy everything that I just that I just spent all that time working on. I was like, yeah, no, I didn't really expect that. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, let's. Uh, Oh yeah, let's uh, so let's spill this color here. Whoops, wrong layer. Oh no, that was the right layer. I just have way too much tolerance there. Uh, all 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then let's go over here and borrow the path. Uh, like so. Like so. Uh, copy, paste, and then erase this part. Uh, what, uh, yeah, um, oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, sorry, uh, what am I doing? Brush size, bigger brush. Balleting, erasing. Wow, I forgot how much that was over here. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, deselect. Uh, yeah, and then, oh yeah, so I can save myself a little bit of time. I was so sad, so sad, these other layers. I'll just, like, hide them for now. Oops, I can't hide that one. Uh, I'll, so I'll just, I'll just back up this layer in case I, like, reverse my decision again and decide to stay with it. But, uh, right, yeah, so for this one I have to basically say everything from here over is gone. Oops, that was too much. <laughs> A bit too much there. Uh, hold on, deselect. Uh, Alright, so everything from here over is gone. Gone away. Uh, and then also this stuff. All right, yeah, so there is, like, that little bit of rockiness, because, uh, actually, yeah, in an earlier version of this, do I have an earlier version of this? Huh. Open. When was the last time I saved this? Ha-ha! Yes, cave mouth. I don't have to redraw this part. Cool. <laughs> Score. Uh, all right, copy this. Wow, it's a good thing I don't save my work, <laughs> like ever, <laughs> or else I would have, uh, I wouldn't have been able to, uh, salvage this, but blammo, check that out. How about them apples? Uh, let's, uh, lower the opacity. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, this doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> uh so... Yeah, whatever, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect. Basically just get it to there. Uh, all right. Yeah, because there are just a few rocks around the cave mouth. Wow, why does that fit so cleanly? That like, that fits like really cleanly. <laughs> just cool. All right, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the only thing I need to do really is uh, erase this. I think this is like, Oop, nope, <laughs> not all of that. Yeah, just uh, there we go. Ta da! <laughs> uh, and then uh, there we go. Alright, <laughs> so now I just have to do this part. Whoa, wait, what's that? Oh, did I have to delete everything? Delete. I can, get, I can get rid of this green layer now that we're inside the cave. I don't have to care about that other stuff. 
I think. Is that true? Oh, well, the cave does sufficiently cover everything. So as long as I don't accidentally blow off the roof of the cave, then we're good. Um. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, Illuminati Doritos. Uh, hey, how about remove the stupid branding from your username? <laughs> Tool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Alright, the other thing... Uh, oh yeah, so let's get rid of... Uh... <laughs> uh, let's get rid of... Uh... This because this is this is the part that was supposed to loop into the um, into the other layer, and we can borrow some looping from the other layer. So I'll save us a little bit of time, just not uh, just not quite as much as that. Uh, so deselect right because it was basically like this part. Uh, so we can we can just copy all. Oh uh, no, uh, it's an awkward part for the loop to happen. At. So we can at least borrow as much of this stuff, and this goes. Uh, yeah, I, we really can't get rid of that green stuff. <laughs> really not necessary at this point. I mean, I want to get rid of it, get rid of it, in case we want to bring it back at some point, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, deselect. We're not going to have that. We almost certainly won't have that again. Uh, so we can smooth that out. And, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, and this, let's justify these lines. Uh, a little bit of that action, a little bit of this action. Uh, yeah. So the nice thing about copy and pasting is that it just saves a nice amount of work sometimes. Just uh, why why redo all that that work that you've done already when you can just uh, you can instead just copy and paste it. Whoa! Why is this why is this top line so flat? Did I? I think I messed something up when I was doing this before. Oh, I know what I messed up before. I didn't start from blank slate. So, hold on a minute. Let's get rid of this. Uh, and then, uh, I'm going to put it back on again. Where to get it from? Here. Deselect. Uh, uh, I'm just going to select all the copy. Uh, new layer. Paste. Uh, except. Get rid of everything. I think from like here over, was it? Get rid of all that stuff. Oh, that was a little too far. So everything from here over. Get rid of all that stuff. And then, uh. Get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a nice clean roof. We just need to justify it. Uh, yeah. Whoop. Ta-da! Yay! Copy and paste magic. <laughs> Alright, so we do need to do the cave interior. But, um, we only need to do this much of it. Just this much. <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, getting distracted slightly by my other computer. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was just getting distracted by my other computer, but I'll stop doing that. Um, Alright, so... Uh, once again, well, okay, yeah, so the thing that I didn't do before, that I should have done before, that I'm going to do now, is, uh, I'm going to actually test this out, see how it looks, because if, if I don't like this, I can always just flip back to the other one that I have, uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, I was expecting to like the other one.